Noah and DK and Karen and Jay Back in modern day in the US of A They're sleeping in late at Gaika's place A cock a doodle doo when they hop to the races A place is full of cats but not as many as last night From some Jay took a bite, others probably died of fright the accommodations aren't great, and the group's not that hard to please. Noah's convinced that her cat and her have fleas that Noah sees. Her ex-husband, Brom, she embraces him at once. With him, she feels calm. But DK gets jealous, tries to shoo him away. Or maybe it's because Brom's actually blood, Jay. Jay said Brom's form, and then Noah's forlorn. Karen cuts the tension with Professor Dan Dan's air horn. Guy can tell the group to stay in the kitchen. So Karen summons Stickum and sends him on a mission. Double O Stickum sneaks away without a sound, but a gang of cats pound him into the ground. Gaika describes a ritual of ascension. Noah accepts with a bit of apprehension. Noah will become what she's meant to be. Might even bring back her dead mother, Cece. They're not allowed to leave, but they don't play by the rules. DK floats upstairs, what's he got to lose? He finds a bunch of voodoo dolls that look quite familiar. One for each of them and Solomon, but one's unfamiliar. Gaik is walking upstairs, Karen wants to warn DK. She sounds off an air horn, but he assumes it's meant for Jay. Gaika walks up the stairs, she catches DK unaware. They disobeyed and she's more than annoyed. She banishes them all to some kind of void. The ritual begins with cats by the dozens. It turns out that some of them are really no his cousins. And Nelly's gonna fear she's dead is that pessimism. Turns out Jay ate her last night. That's not a euphemism. The ritual begins, it seems ascension's near. Not clear what that means, but there's no shame and fear. Noah thinks she knows her mind intrusion ability. It's her psyot power and it's got great utility. Had that power pre Solomon, she was never activated. Guess she's a witch, not a psyot. That's what's indicated. The rest of the group are lost in Gaika's home. All the exits are pure black. They'll get lost if they roam. A DK breaks free with a death from above. Then he goes to free the others in a labor of love. Jay breaks through a wall and Karen sounds her air horn. DK pulls them out through the hole that Jay has torn. From Gaika's house, they see a green light. Like that distant glow, Gatsby stares out by light. The ritual must be stopped, they'll say no one wants to pass. But first they'll have to deal with a nuisance of cats. A cloud of cats attacks, 16 strong. The power group must fight back, but it kind of feels wrong. If you're a fan of cats, then this next part is brutal. The cats do their best, but in the end, it's futile. The power group stabs and suits and DFAs until the only thing left is a cat hair haze. They took care of those cats with impunity about how to stop the ritual. Time to hack unity. They call in Puck Mom before some magical help. You need servers fight Jay. He falls down with a yelp. Let's see what happens with the power group.